Team China has arrived. Team China has arrived. We've got Shi Ziyong at the front. No Lu Zhaozhen or Tian Tao as of yet. But I'm sure they'll turn up. Alright guys, I think you can feel my pain. I have to pick a side and we've got Lu Zhaozhen over here. Working up with the bar. We've got Shi Ziyong over here. So this was the first training session that I got to see from 81 kilo Lu Zhaozhen and 73 kilo Shi Ziyong the two Chinese superstars. Now through purely his length of time at the highest level, not to mention now his you know, five world championship titles and the Olympic gold medal, Liu Zhejun is the biggest legend still competing in this sport. In 2009, he totaled 378 kilos, winning his first world championships. And then five days after this training session, 10 years after his first world title, he would win again and again he would total 378 kilos, which is a, a level of performance few of the best will ever reach, let alone sustain for a decade, let alone at 35 years of age. Alright, we've got Cheesy Young. Well done for holding the snatch, clean and just total 73 pounds. And directly opposite him in the training hall was the young talent Shi Ziyong, who has been setting the weightlifting world on fire over the last three years with his exciting, aggressive lifting technique. We got Shi Ziyong once again. Shi is a 2016 Olympic champion and four days after this training session became a three-time world champion. Now, I knew that Shi Ziyong was in incredible shape. Leading up to this competition, he had power cleaned 190 kilos multiple times, including in competition at the Tokyo Test event two months prior, the most impressive competition power clean of all time by some way. He had also snatched 171 kilos, three kilos over his own world record, and clean and jerk 206 kilos, an absurd 10 kilos over his own world record in training. Liu Zhaozhen, on the other hand, had been kept a little more under wraps. In fact, when I posted a video I'd seen of Liu cleaning 210 kilos on the Weightlifting House Instagram, four kilos over the world standard, I was messaged by a Chinese coach asking me who had sent it to me and basically to turn in the person who had breached the security of the Chinese training hall. Clearly, they wanted to keep his progress under wraps. What nobody knew was that Liu was in shape to hit the heaviest international clean and jerk of his career later that week. Something that a 35 year old who has already achieved everything that there is to achieve in the sport shouldn't be able to do. Alright, we've got Liu on the bar with 120 kilos again. So as you can see in this workout, Shi Ziyong worked up in the snatch and power snatch and Lu Zhaozhen worked up in the front squat. That wasn't a mess. The thing with the Chinese is that they peak completely differently to other countries for competition. As opposed to the more traditional increase in specificity, decrease in accessory volume and focus on speed type of approach, the Chinese actually become less specific the week of a competition. They only snatch and clean and jerk once during the prior week and they fill their volume with heavy back and front squats, heavy dips up to around 120 to 130%, heavy snatch and clean pulls again up to around 130% and lots of accessories such as hip extensions, dips, handstand press ups, loo raises and that sort of thing. She just stands up from the squat so fast, not even the pull, I mean the pull's fast. But the way he stands up overhead, I challenge anyone at 73 kilos body weight to stand up a back squat as fast as he does a snatch. And each time it looks easier than that. Another thing with the Chinese that you have to be diligent about is that they will hit five or six singles at a certain weight and then all of a sudden when you're not looking, they just add 20 kilos and power it like nothing. And that actually happened a few times with a few Chinese athletes during the World Champs. Oh. 
and just as you can see it just kind of happened there with a 130 power snatch out of the blue. Alright guys, this is a jump from 170 kilos all the way to 220 kilos. But as you can see, there are other lifters around these guys. Tian Tao was there, Deng Wei was there, Shi Ziyong, Li Fei Bin. So the full training session is actually on the Weightlifting House Patreon page. I'll put the link down below if you want to see everyone else. But there's a Tian Tao 250 front squat, that sort of thing. Wow, touch and go double. Now to see a 220 kilo touch and go front squat double like that from an 81 kilo lifter uh, is is absurd to see. It's it's just testament to the leg strength of these guys. It's like a twin. Hey yo! Hey yo! There's 240 for the charger. Here on 170, 220. Also, to have jumped from 170 kilos to 220 kilos, I mean, he just goes up and slaps. And in the back squat workout that will be uploaded in a few weeks' time, he does the same thing. He just adds a slab every single set. Not a bad lift, eh? For an 81. He's 35 years old. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him go up after just the 150, honestly, the week. <laughs> and as you can tell from my reaction to this lift, I was completely blown away by oh, wow. by this power snatch from Shi Ziyong. Uh, power snatch, <laughs> Here we have Team Lu Zhaozhen, just doing some dips, 220. A roll of some. Get this man some. Get this man some weightlifting house tech. I've got about ten rolls of it in my bag. I'm thinking about chucking a roll. The last thing my ego can have right now is him chucking it back. <laughs> and like I said, this was the first time I had seen these guys training in person. By the end of the two-week period, you know, building up to them competing and then after their competition where they keep coming into training, I kind of got to know them a little bit better. I got Lu Zhaojun to sign my Greatest of Weightlifters of All Time book. You know, I got some photos with Shi Ziyong. They became a little bit more playful. But even so, the Chinese are completely very much self-contained and in their own world when they're training. They really don't, they don't really care a huge amount about what, you know, we are doing filming them. They're just very much focused on what they have to do that day. I'm not quite sure why Shi Ziyong did these. He dropped down from 140 kilos in the power snatch just to hit some high pulls, often singles, sometimes doubles at 90 kilos. And then as you can see at the end of every single workout, it's it's hip extensions, it's it's holds, it's that sort of thing. And guys, if you want to check out the rest of the training session, Tian Tao's 250 front squat, Deng Wei's 140 pause front squats, Li Dai In 160 power cleans, that sort of thing, head over to Weightlifting House Patreon page.